Well, it didn't take very long. We knew this was going to happen. Recipes for the cicadas that are coming to DC, popping up. They've been in the ground for 17 years. Haven't restaurants been through enough? Oh, and it's got the cicada sound on it too, which makes it even more... (laughs) That's what it sounds like. Kel, 17 years they've been underground? Do not play that video with sound. Can't you take the sound off of that? No, you got to play it with sound. <laughs> oh. All right. Yeah. So let's break down. Um, the Washingtonian uh, food critic did a article with a bunch of chefs. Um, and so a couple things that you need to know. This is um, the chef from um, Arcadia. Uh, cicadas, he says, cicadas are actually related to shrimp and lobster and are eaten in many cultures around the world. Uh, you don't get the seafood flavor, but you get that sweetness. <laughs> so what? he says, if tuna is the chicken of the sea, why can't cicadas be the shrimp of the sky? <laughs> um, they're low fat um, and they have some protein in them. So he says, here's the tip to having like really good cicada. They're like veal or lamb. You want to get cicadas as nymphs where they'll be most tender and new to the world. <laughs> And I'm like, <laughs> I am pretty adventurous when it comes to restaurants. I'm not eating nymph cicadas. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. That's, well, they don't, that's where I draw the line. I'm not eating nymph cicadas. Um, so they don't, the advantage is they don't have wings and they're softer and um, wings make it harder to catch and they're less fun to eat. Um, so that, that's, there's another reason. And here's the other reason. They've been in the ground for 17 years. Mm-hmm. You got to clean them. Yeah. Yeah, how do you clean cicadas? Do you like is it like a colander under the, the water or Nope. Nope. The good old blanching. <laughs> <laughs> that will also make sure that it will kill any bugs on the bugs. <laughs> no. Like You I, know, I, you know restaurants around DC are gonna get involved. Of course they are. Of course they are. And I'm sure that like Chef Angel um is gonna do something amazing and Anju is gonna have like the cicada stir fry. I'm like, sure, fine, I'll eat it, whatever. But <gasps> yeah. 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 The preparation sounds pretty disgusting. It does. And I know in a lot of cultures and a lot of parts of the world, like insects are great protein and you eat that and that's like a part of diet, but when you just just the way that like cicadas, cicadas are kind of like villains, right? Like the way cicadas have been vilified by us here in DC. Like it's not a, it's not a, like it feels like eating pigeons to me. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, sure. There's a lot of pigeons. I mean, you probably blanch those and eat those too, but it's just like, well, there is we a really type of pigeon pigeons? you can eat, but not like the pigeons, you know. Uh, I, I didn't really know you had that much expertise in it, Kelly. <laughs> I told my dad was a hunter. I know. I knew, do know a little bit about game hunting. Well, why can't you eat the pigeons here? I don't know why. I mean, I guess maybe it's not a good idea for people like around the city to have, you know, guns and trappings. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I, I got to imagine like bird dogs going after pigeons in Logan circle is not going to go well. 